And one of the things I've seen you mention is, you know, nice guys. And, uh, you know, I mean, I was definitely conditioned, programmed to be, you know, a nice, humble, faithful uh, guy. And, um, you know, as I look back to my, when I first kind of was finding my way on my own first year at university, I just my just by just by virtue of being nice, I got into situation. I got into really dangerous situations. You know, um, I happened to be going to the University of Utah in Salt Lake City, and and where I was living at one point, I didn't know it, but it was like if you're out at night, this is where all the gay guys are hanging out, and they're they're on the prowl, you know, and I had no idea. And, you know, being such a nice guy, like there was so much of the world, so much of the world that I was just not even uh, aware of. Um, but what, not that that's what we're here to talk about, but what is it that uh, nice guys don't understand about women, relationship, marriage, divorce, these sorts of things um, that by not understanding that can get them in trouble or, or lead to a, a terrible divorce? Well, you know, culture and society tells men and women different things. They tell men do what's right. And they tell women you do what's right for you, girl. So that might sound the same, but they're totally different. Men are disposable. We've always been disposable. It's why women and children were off the Titanic first and most of the men drowned. Right. Um, and that's just a feature of humanity. It's not a bug. It's just what creates uh, more children and adults. You know, if you preserve women and children, then you're then you're going to further the benefit of culture and society. Um, but I think that there's a lot of nice guys that are manufactured today. And I think there's a difference between nice guys and kind men. I think, uh, you know, being a kind man is, is, uh, you know, might sound similar, but again, it's different. Like nice guys create these covert contracts in their head. Uh, Dr. Robert Glover wrote a book called no more Mr. Nice guy. And essentially that's, you know, what it all boils down to is you, invest in these ideas in your mind, you, you know, you create an agreement between you. Let's say, you know, you, uh, you meet a gal, you like her, you mirror, you know, you put a ring on her finger and some babies in her, you know, sort of thing. And because you're a nice guy, you know, you create this covert contract in your head that if you just man up, do the right thing, uh, you know, take the kids to all their extracurriculars, uh, empty the dishwasher, load it up, cut the grass, that you're going to have a nice, productive, loving, uh, enthusiastically, you know, sexual, productive, like sort of marriage sort of thing. And it doesn't work that way because that's not how women are run. That's not what keeps them uh, interested and attracted to men. Um, it, it just doesn't work in that in that nice guy sort of concept. Um, well, I think it's a great way to sort of simplify it things, um, you know, for for men to understand that they shouldn't be nice men. They should be kind men. They should be good men. They should be good at being men, but being nice is doesn't, doesn't really serve you as a guy in life. Nice guys get destroyed in family court. Uh, you know, being nice or being chivalrous is not the time to uh, use that little life strategy in a divorce, you know, for example, you know? Um, so, there's a time and a place, I guess, for maybe niceness, but, but at the end of the day, I think men need to tune in a little bit more to their inner asshole. Um, and, you know, subscribe to the notion that without men or daddy being happy in the household, nobody's going to be happy. Right. So, you know, we used to have, we used to have a lot of authority in a household, you know, with a family and in a relationship, we still have responsibilities, you know, we have responsibility to protect, preside, you know, you know, provide and pull our end of the uh, bargain. Um, but we don't have a lot of authority anymore. And I think it's, you know, cause guys have turned into nice guys, you know, it's where we, you know, you hear a lot of terms, you know, today's in sound bites that I think a lot of your audience will pick up on once they start to listen to it, like the word partner, you know, for example, um, partner gets thrown around a lot and, I don't buy it. It's, it's husband, wife, it's boyfriend, girlfriend. It's not partner. You're not partners in a law firm. You're not partners in a business. You're not equal and exactly the same men and women are different. And, you know, trying to blur the lines, you know, between the sexes and equalize things and make men less. So women can become more, um, you know, there's certain things that are never going to change. Like the notion that men are disposable and that women are protected. That's always going to exist. But I think that 
men need to be more of a man. You know, they need to be good at being men and letting go of the nice guy persona because it just doesn't serve you. You're not going to become wealthy being a nice guy. Jeff Bezos is not a nice guy. Elon Musk is not a nice guy, right? Like these guys created massive legacy and fortunes, you know, for themselves and the shareholders that invested in their business, not by being nice guys, maybe by being kind men to some regard, but the nice guy notion won't get you anywhere in life in my estimation. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.